Good afternoon, everyone. Ooh, peep that Christmas tree back there. Those Christmas decorations looking so good. I'm feeling so Christmassy, feeling so warm right now. See my big old bump with this sweater. <laughs> so today I am finishing, well, I shouldn't say finishing. I am attempting to finish, completing, doing part two of the baby's room. And I feel like I've gotten a lot done so far and I've washed all of her clothes. Um, I just need to organize them. I got some, wherever they are, on the floor, um, some containers from Ikea to put in her dresser so I can organize better. So I'm gonna be putting those in her dresser. I'm gonna be doing some more cleaning and stuff like that. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys along on the journey with me. Um, I've had a pretty like chaotic morning so far. I went to the dentist, got my teeth cleaned, and then I drove all the way back home. Forgot I needed to pick up Samuel from his boarding because this past weekend, me and Connor went to a marriage retreat, which was so amazing, so just like life giving, and just kind of like refreshed our marriage. And even though like most of the things I kind of knew already, it's always really cool and important to continue like learning how to better your marriage and how to strengthen your marriage. And so we went to a family life um, marriage conference and it just was just so amazing. So anyways, yes, I had to pick him up from the boarding, but I like, the daycare or the dentist is close to his boarding but i drove all the way back home and then had to go all the way back so i was like dang it um but i treated myself with some starbucks and now i'm like ready to go so um let me show you guys what the current situation looks like um in the baby's room so okay so I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like last time at the beginning and then at the end of last time. So now it looks like this where if you guys remember I organized the pampers and the wipes and then um, and then I've kind of done a little bit more organizing. Got a few more gifts from another baby shower, small baby shower that I went to. Put all the clothes in the washer except for a few that I got kind of last minute. Um, we ended up painting this dresser so that's good now. And then we put the handles on it, um, which I think we're actually gonna uh, spray paint gold in the future. All I need to do now is kind of like vacuum out each of these cause there's like some like random gross stuff in there. So um, need to do that. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of us moving this dresser in here. This is how dumb I am right now. My pregnancy brain has taken full control and this is what the clip looks like. So basically I got nothing. <laughs> I meant to record in the room, but obviously I recorded outside of the room, um, which is so embarrassing. But anyways, it's in here and we finished it. So I just need to vacuum it out. And then if you move over here, so all of this stuff is gone, which is good. All the like crazy boxes and stuff that were here, um, except for this one, this one's still here. Um, this is all of her clothes, the clothes that I've been sorting through. We finally got a mattress that my mom bought us um, for the baby Leto crib and this is the the waterproof or water something I can't remember what it is but this is um, from baby Leto and it has the sheet that came with it so we have that and then in the closet so far we have her just like sorted by color and size so all of this I believe ending here is newborn and then we go into um, zero to three and then I think some of the this might be three yeah this is three months yeah so that kind of morphs in together but I really want to get like those tags that you can put in um, but I haven't gotten those yet so um, they're kind of just sorted right now by color and then also we have a lot of just stuffed animals up there um, I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet or with her stuffed animals but um, whenever I was little, I had one of those hammocks with all of the stuffed animals, so I may do that, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. It's like um, chaotically organized right now, um, weirdly. <laughs> and then the rest of her clothes are in the washer or dryer right now, so I'll show you guys. These are all of the whites. And I actually saw this on YouTube. This was like such a smart idea where you put 
like socks and hats and tons of small stuff in a mesh bag like this so it doesn't get lost within the dryer so I thought that was a really good idea so I ended up doing that um, and then just the rest of her whites and stuff so all right so since you guys are the experts I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and if you guys think this is a terrible idea let me know in the comments and I will do something else <laughs> um, but so my plan here is to organize the closet and organize the dresser and I have those little things that I told you guys from Ikea um, I'll break those out in a second um, but my plan is to since her closet is small I'm only gonna do newborn to zero to three maybe three to six months in her closet and everything else is gonna go into the drawers and then once she grows out of newborn I'll like take those out take the neck size from the dresser put it in the closet and kind of just like you know like have this cycle going of the clothes that she could currently wear be in the closet the clothes that are like older sizes that she's not ready for in the dresser so I think that that's a good idea because it's easier to find clothes in a closet than it is in a dresser and those will just be there as like things for the future so tell me if that's a good idea or not I feel like it is <laughs> but I don't know because I, I have a lot of clothes for her until like 12 to 18 months and I don't want to put them all in the closet because that's just not gonna it's not gonna fit so I'm gonna do that and then also gonna organize of course like put diapers wipes bath stuff just a whole bunch of stuff also in the dresser so but the part that I need your help is the is that a good idea the newborn two three to six months in the closet everything else in the dresser let me know if that's a good idea um, but yeah so I'm gonna break out the Ikea things and then hopefully we will start organizing So drawers are all clean so now I'm going to show you guys the Ikea um, boxes and I honestly don't know if these are going to work in the in the dresser but I kept like going back and forth and there was an Amazon set that I really liked and wow this does not open but then I was like I don't know if the Amazon is going to work and I just kept going back and forth and the dresser is from ikea and so i was like i'm just gonna stick with ikea containers because i feel like it'll work the best hopefully and not all containers are gonna fit exactly size of each drawer so i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and get these and they were actually a really good price so i don't know if it says it on here for six of these it was six dollars so i think it was a total of like 23 dollars or something like including tax so a really good price for containers and they're white which i really like i have no idea how these are gonna fit in the dresser so let's test it out first and see how it works okay so one whole one can do that and then i can put a whole one like that and then maybe i don't think that will fit All right, so if I want to do multiple things, I can have a big one, a, a rectangle one, and then two small ones, or I can do two big ones, or I can do one of these, two of these. So basically, like, anything that's two of these, because this whole thing is that right there. So um, that's how I can probably organize stuff.
right, here's the first drawer. So just stacked with diapers. These are all her newborn diapers, but I think this is plenty for newborn because I've heard like they grow out of newborn so fast and um, it's better to have the other sizes. So I'm glad that there's like a really good amount of newborn because she might be a, a tiny baby. <laughs> I was a tiny baby and so she might wear a lot of these plus she's probably gonna poop a lot let's be real and so this is I feel like a really good amount and if I need to get one more box then I will but I feel like this is a good amount to start off with and then so we have all her newborn here I'm pretty sure that's all of it all the rest are like ones twos and I think I said I got a three but I can't remember where it is but yeah so it was able to fit all of it and actually like that space in the back didn't even really matter because I stretched out the diapers so much to where it like, I don't really need anything back here anyways. And then I put the Honest uh, wipes. I put three of those right here with a fourth one on top. And then in this kind of crevice with no container, I put more of her diapers. And then the last thing that I put was her diaper rash cream. And I feel like I have more of this, but I'm not sure. Um, where it would be in this like chaos obviously <laughs> um, but so far what I found was the aquifer baby ointment um, found the honest company rash cream and then Target actually gives you like tons of samples in their welcome box so this was from Target um, as a sample so I just tossed that in there so so far I have three diaper rash creams and this is my first drawer it's so crazy. Um, these like teeny little diapers, teeny little booties um, are so cute and like making me emotional right now. It's really surreal now that I'm putting all of these diapers in here because that means it's real. I'm going to have a baby booty that I need to wipe, <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> um, and I put it on the right side because I feel like I will be putting the changing pad right here and then if I need to like use my right arm to open it since I am right-handed I will open this grab one put it here instead of like being over here and awkwardly trying to use my left hand and just a whole bunch of stuff so um, I thought this was a really good space for it and then uh, yeah so now I just need to move on to the next drawer which I think I'm going to do like bath stuff so I think that will go in this one all right so so far I have this but I have this bath stuff this bath stuff and then a few of these plus the baby squirts so I'm gonna try to see if I can organize it a little bit I did the hooded towels in here which I might do a bigger container and then I might just throw all of the baby bath stuff in here this is lotion so I could probably take this out and do lotion for a different place but yeah lots of baby organics uh only one honest company and then all johnson stuff so we're gonna see what this is gonna look like So I was able to fit all shampoos and bubble bath, body wash in a little container like this instead of the big one. So I went ahead and switched it to this, towels. Now I'm gonna do lotions. And I have one, two, three, and then a lotion over there actually. So I think I'm gonna switch that out. I think I'm gonna do another long one. Um, actually, all right, this is a lot of just like figuring out what, what is gonna work. Um, but I switched the body washes to a skinnier container. And then I think I'm gonna put all of these lotions and then this lotion um, in here also in a skinny one. And then I switched the towels to a bigger container, but I only have three. So I might add something else to the bigger container or if I have more towels, I'll just put them in here also. So. 
we'll see. These are also some wash rags that she has that I kind of just stuck in there. So we'll see if this works out. All right, so I figured out a way to cram everything. So here's all the shampoo stuff, shampoo and body wash. And then in this container, I have lotions. And then I added, cause I just had these two Baby Gannics, um hand sanitizer. So I just added these two in here, but the rest are lotions. And then, so I had that huge container and I couldn't fit one of these in here. So I was like, okay, what do I, what am I gonna do? So I did the huge container, pushed these hooded towels over and fit a small one within the huge container. So I did all other small bath items. I did the cotton swabs. This is the Nose Frida. This is the Baby Frida Skin Smoothers. So I have those in a container that it comes with. And then I have this um, Easy Rub by Honest Company. Yeah, Breathe Easy Rub. So I have all that in there. And then I have this whale, which is the body and hair rinser. I have that kind of stuffed in there with the wash rags. And then last thing I squeezed in there was the munchkin bath squirts so that's all i fit in there um i fit a lot in here just trying to get it organized and stuff like that so and then i have because i don't really know how to use nose frida yet um i put all of the instructions of the easy rub the skin smoother and nose frida in here in the packages that they came with so i didn't want to throw them away just in case so i have them easily accessible back here so yeah, that took a lot of work, but this is what it looks like. All right, so I realized as I was unpacking, I forgot this whole thing and a few of these. So we will see if this will look good still and if I can fit this. <laughs> So I can't decide what I'm going to do. I put, got space in here, but instead I just took all of the stuff and just put them in this bag. It fits okay right here. So if I kind of stuff it like that, when I close it, it catches. So I have to push it in. So I'm not sure. I kind of want to take it out and put it in there, but I feel like it would be safer inside the bag instead of being inside here. Um, and it'll stay like, I wouldn't say sterile, but less germy if it was in here versus if it was in there. So I'm not sure yet. I don't know what to do with this, but what do you guys think? What do you think I should do for this? Let me know in the comments because I just like cannot tell. And I feel like as a mom, I'm not going to want to continuously push that down and get that to go in. Like that's going to be such a hassle if I'm trying to be quick so i don't know but this is what it looks like now now that i added this and the squirt toys all right so i'm done for now it still looks more chaotic i feel like it's just going to continue to look chaotic oh i could probably take this vacuum out for just probably a little bit longer but this is only half of the video i'm not going to end this video like this okay i'm not going to end it chaotically like this i'm going to work on it probably um, sometime this week so that I can get more of this organized and I have all of these clothes that I just took out of the laundry um, And I think I was telling you guys. I just don't have any more hangers So I'm not able to work on the clothes. So I think that will be Super helpful when I have the rest of the hangers I can put a lot of the clothes up and start organizing a little bit more um, Also, we set up the camera, but now I'm gonna show you guys the stroller that we got in the mail. Connor's already looking at it. So this is the one. We're gonna do an unboxing of it. So the one we got is the Chico Bravo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it, Samuel Cribs? So I don't know if I mentioned, but this one is the travel system. So it comes with the car seat also. Look at those wheels. <laughs> Dang, riding dirty. <laughs> Here are more wheels. Where are the instructions? Instructions are in the set of wheels. Just so everyone knows if you're looking for them. Oh, you might have missed a step on... 
Oh, wait, maybe you didn't. No, I don't think you did. All right, here we go. Here's our stroller. Our cute little baby's gonna be in here. <laughs> Got some extra storage. Looks good. All right, guys, it is day two. And as you can see, it's nighttime already. Um, it's about seven o'clock at night and I'm starting this. Connor is at his men's community group right now. So I figured I would kind of do some stuff to get hopefully the rest of the dresser done. Today was kind of chaotic, so I didn't do much, but I did want to show you guys something that I was working on most of the day. I'm actually very, very proud of. So um, I created my own um, closet organizers. So I only created one so far. I say I've created like all of them, but I haven't. <laughs> so I created this little newborn tag and I'm gonna create the other ones. So let me just take this out, it just looks like this. And I'm thinking if I get it down, if I get the sizing down and stuff and like create the other ones that I can actually upload these to my Etsy and you guys can get them if you want. They were super easy to make and I'll have the printable version so you basically just buy the prints and then you can get cardstock and print them yourself and cut them out. That's basically what I did. I um, created the design, printed it out, and then cut all around in the square and stuff like that. So I'm really proud of that actually um, that I did that and yeah it just kind of like looks like that and then next things i did so it's still kind of like chaotic in here i did move what was right here into the closet that freed up a lot of space and i think i'm gonna move some of the bigger like all of this i think can go into the closet because i'm not gonna need any of these diapers right now so i'm gonna move that into the closet next thing i did kind of earlier today really quickly was i put swaddles in this container put all of the sleepers in here um there's a few more sleepers that i have that are like nightgown type that are in the closet but these were the actual like soft zip up ones so um i put those all in here and then i put socks in here so so far i did that but yeah so and then i got more hangers which i'll be hanging more stuff we're making progress also um you're gonna see it probably whenever i start cleaning but i have the weirdest get up on right now i have this dress these sweats this cardigan on. I just look really crazy, um, but comfortable. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna put these up into the drawer and try to organize a little bit. And hopefully I get a lot done today, hopefully. I keep saying this, but I feel like I'm making progress and I'm getting a lot done. So hopefully that's true. Hopefully I'm not just like lying to myself. <laughs> So cleared out this space a little bit. This had just a whole bunch of random boxes. Um, I got two Bumbos, so I just set one out there because that's the one I'm gonna return. And then, whew, I'm exhausted. And then I put the baby bullet in here. I put the other Bumbo, all the diapers and stuff. So that's good to go. But I did find more swaddles. So I think I have like room at the top to add some swaddles.
Okay, this hippo is huge. I did not expect it to be this huge. I can't tell if I like it or not because how huge it is. It's cute, but... Oops, I think I just broke it. How did that go on? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it's huge. So, it is cute. I don't know. I can't tell. It's a humidifier, so I don't... It doesn't even matter. Who cares? But it is extremely large. But anyways, that took that whole box out of the middle of the floor. So I'm glad I got that out. I'm going to save this box though, just in case. Um, when Connor gets home, I'm going to ask him and see if he likes it. <sighs> okay, still have all those clothes. Now it's just random stuff. I did add the boppy to the last drawer and I think I'm gonna make this like the mommy drawer. Um, everything that I need, boppy, breast pads, nipple cream, like <laughs> all the random stuff that I need. So I think I'm just gonna like toss it in there. I don't even care if this one looks nice just because it's just gonna be a whole bunch of my stuff. And I may make it look nice actually, but for now I'm just gonna like toss it in there. And I haven't gotten a boppy cover yet. And so I don't wanna take it out of the cover package just yet. I'm gonna wait. A little bit until my cover comes in and then I'll like organize everything so I wanted to put all of this stuff in there, but technically I really don't need to. It's like creams, a candle, socks, face masks, stuff like that. So this should be good enough to just put in here. So this is the most messy drawer, but this takes up the most room. So I'm just going to blame it on that. All right, getting closer. Organize all the stuff in this corner. Put all the blankets together. Put all of the like receipts that I found. Any cards in this box. Hangers in there. I'm trying to gather the bibs. So I put some bibs right there. That is going to go in the car. So I just left it out. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the beanie. The... Um, Moby wrap and then also the wet bag. So those are right there kind of just not sure where to put those yet And then trash is right here putting a lot of just like random items in here Just so I can collect them all and figure out what I want to do with them. This is mostly like teethers and toys Stuff like that that I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with yet. This corner is still working on and we eventually need to move this into our room which will probably be last. Our room isn't like super big so I don't want to crowd it right now. So this will probably be the last thing. And then this is probably the most chaotic that I haven't really dealt with yet. Um, but I have organized it a little bit. But all of this stuff is like... This is actually a toy, so that can go away. But all of this is like more kitchen stuff. So we have the drying rack. We have the spoons. More bibs. Um, spoons. High chair wipes. And we have the twig. And then we have hand sanitizer in there. So... That is all in this little green container. So that's what we have here. And then here, of course, are like more clothes that I need to fold and put into the dresser, so. Oh, and then the last thing actually is shoes. I need to figure out what I wanna do with shoes. So that's another thing that I'm like, where am I gonna put shoes? <laughs> I think I said this before already, but like a door hanger to put like pacifiers, other swaddles in, stuff like that, that'll go on the inside. So I might get that or I might get a little dresser, just of like three big containers or drawers. So not sure yet, but yeah, that might go in there to organize like webbing up. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, did not mean to do that. She just like kicked me right in my stomach and it hurts so, 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 so bad. So um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but that really hurt so yeah this might be the end of this one part two maybe there'll be a part three i don't know maybe part three will be i'm all finished that's what it'll probably be i'm all finished or it'll be just like a separate organized video because i don't want to leave you guys hanging um on how i'm organizing but i would say that oh let me get up oh, i've just been struggling to get up this entire video if you're having a baby and you need a dresser i would 100 percent recommend the dresser that we have 
and it is from Ikea. So it's the Tarva dresser and me and Connor just painted it. We did the bottom a wood color and then we actually filled in the hole because it comes with one hole for a wooden knob. We filled it in and then drill, Connor drilled um, two holes for uh, these handles which are from Home Depot. So I'll link like the dresser and the handles and the paint if you guys want this dresser. Um, and then I'll also link these containers for you guys. This is what this one ended up looking like. This is what this one ended up looking like. And then this one you guys saw me do. And then this drawer I haven't filled, but this will most likely be anything that is past six months. I think I'll put in here and organize it. And I'll probably show you guys in the next video what these last two look like. Um, this one and the bottom one. And then of course you guys saw that one, which I'm not gonna bend down um, to show you, but it's the boppy and then all of the stuff that I need. So that's all of this. Show you guys again, I'm gonna get in my little corner. Still have this stuff that I wanna organize a little bit, but this is what it looks like so far. So still a little bit chaotic, but we're getting there because look, all this free nice space carpet. <laughs> and then I'll show you the closet again. Still wanna organize this cause I don't want this blanket in here. Uh, I think this is a swaddle and I don't want that in there. Um, and then this, this is kind of like not organized right now. I think the only thing that's really organized is the newborn clothes. And then again, I'm gonna like master these and hopefully um, if I end up mastering it, I will put the link to my Etsy shop for you guys to download these prints and then print them out yourself. I'll have like all the instructions for it and stuff again if I master it. So that is the end of part two. I didn't get fully finished like I wanted to, but I feel like I'm making a lot of progress, which is awesome. It's just the like organizing and I'm the worst organizer ever. <laughs> I feel like it at least. I'm just really bad at stuff like this and like trying to figure out what goes where, especially when it's overwhelming. Um, I'm super, super bad at it, but I only have four weeks left. Um, technically really three and a half because this Friday I will be 37 weeks. So oh, it just seems like it's going by so fast and my mom and my sisters are actually gonna be here this weekend. So they're gonna help me organize a little bit more, which is probably gonna be amazing because my mom is way better at this than I am. So yeah, so end of part two, but I will definitely be back with another organizing video. So even though this was like part one and part two, there's gonna be more <laughs> um, because I'm not finished. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll make part three. Maybe I'll just make it a random organizing video. I have no idea. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, everything will be linked so you mamas can be organized as well. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.